With most cameras, both SLR and compact, there's a set of options that will allow you to quickly set up a camera to shoot a specific type of scenario. Using these modes or scenes will adjust settings like aperture or shutter speed or focus to best suit the scene you're trying to capture. Along with these basic settings, the camera may also apply some digital processing to enhance color or soften skin tones. The control for these options is usually located on a dial on top of the camera, but may also be menu driven. Usually the icons on the dial will be simplified pictures of the kind of photo you wish to take. Simply select the icon that matches the situation you're shooting in. These options are great for the amateur photographer who doesn't yet understand the technical aspects of photography, or for the more advanced photographer who needs to quickly take a shot and doesn't have time to select the proper camera settings. So let's take a look at some of the more common modes. The full auto mode is great for a wide variety of situations. The camera will adjust all settings, shutter speed, aperture, focus, flash, and many others. You won't have any option to change these though, so if for example you want to turn off your flash, you won't have that option. Great for amateurs and most candid shots. The portrait mode will select the best aperture to soften the background of your portrait shot. This places more emphasis on your subject. Skin tones may also be digitally softened to give a more flattering look to the person you're photographing. The landscape mode is obviously for landscapes and wide scenery shots. The camera will set its aperture to allow for sharp focus from the closest to the furthest parts of the scene. The flash will also be deactivated to prevent illumination of the foreground and because a small on-camera flash is useless for lighting large areas of a landscape photograph. Color may also be enhanced, usually in the blue and green areas to give a more vivid feel to the photo. Some digital sharpening may also be applied. Close-up mode is for pictures of flowers, insects, or any other small subject matter that requires you to get in close. This will select a wide aperture that will soften the background, placing emphasis on the subject. Sports mode is best used for any scene in which fast action is happening in order to capture very sharp images and to freeze action. The camera will automatically select the fastest shutter speed possible. The night portrait shot is used for portrait shots or candid shots in low light situations. The flash is activated to illuminate your foreground subject matter and a slightly slower shutter speed is selected to help bring out details in the background that can't be illuminated by the flash. This provides a nice balance between foreground and background, preventing the shot from being a bright shot of your subject in front of a black background. The night landscape mode will select slow shutter speeds to allow enough light into the camera in a dark situation. A tripod is recommended to reduce blur from camera shake. If no tripod is available, try bracing the camera against something solid. The flash will also be deactivated in this mode. The no flash mode will deactivate the flash and is best suited for situations where no flash photography is permitted, like museums and sometimes weddings for example. Along with these options is another set of modes that are a little more advanced. These provide some assistance from the camera but still allow the photographer to have control over other settings to best achieve the look they're going for. These are very handy when things are happening fast and you might miss a shot trying to adjust everything manually. Aperture priority mode functions much like manual mode, except that the camera will automatically select the optimal shutter speed based on the aperture you've selected. This is great for when you want to concentrate on depth of field and don't want to have to worry about your shutter speed. In shutter priority, the camera will automatically select an aperture value based on the shutter speed you've selected. This is great for shooting action scenes with a lot of movement and allows you to capture sharp images or to create blurring effects without having to worry about your aperture. Manual mode is best suited for the experienced photographer who is very familiar with their camera. All settings are handled by the photographer. This is useful for any kind of photography but requires that the photographer have an understanding of how all the settings apply to a wide variety of situations.
Program mode is sort of a combination of auto and manual. Shutter speed and aperture are adjustable, but will be adjusted simultaneously based on the scene being photographed. Flash and focus are still in the hands of the photographer, but most other settings are handled by the camera. In creative auto mode, aperture and shutter speed are selected automatically, but the photographer still has control over things like picture style, drive, or RAW and JPEG options. All other settings will be handled by the camera. Bulb mode allows for complete manual control of the camera, except when the shutter button is pressed, the shutter will stay open until the button is released. This allows for long exposures at night or for creative blurring effects. You will need a tripod and a remote control, or use the timer function to help prevent blur from camera shake. The icons, the names, and options for shooting modes will vary from camera to camera, so consult your manual to see what your camera has to offer.